fewer than 20,000 rhinos remain in the wild. Many live in Kruger National Park, South Africa's largest public game reserve. For the past decade, poachers have been killing off Kruger's endangered rhinos at an alarming rate. Rhino horns used in traditional Chinese medicine sell for thousands of dollars a pound on the black market. Deborah Pata takes us inside the crackdown on rhino poaching. Park rangers trained in military tactics are on the hunt for poachers. Two suspects have just been arrested after being caught with an axe, a rifle and a homemade silencer. The ranger wants to know who hired them to kill a rhino. This is the second attack just today. Earlier, a 24-year-old poacher who goes by Zama was caught. He was surprisingly matter-of-fact. He's poached six times at $40,000 a horn. When I saw I saw a rhino, oh, I think money. The park also now employs forensic detectives to help catch the poachers. Investigator Frick Rousseau uses a metal detector to search for bullets that could be matched with a poacher's gun. But the rhino's horn was hacked off five days ago. Already scavengers are feasting off the carcass. Uh, Bella, just bring that metal detector here. The forensic team and investigators have almost finished processing the crime scene but haven't managed to find any bullets, making it almost impossible to hold anyone accountable for this. But now there is a new court inside the Kruger Game Reserve and even being caught with a weapon can carry a stiff penalty. Organised crime prosecutor Ansi Fenter. The court is purely for environmental cases. We don't have to compete with rape cases and murder cases and theft cases. There are 22 poaching cases on the roll today. This man faces up to 40 years in jail for killing an endangered black rhino. This zero-tolerance approach seems to be having some effect. Over the past year, the number of rhinos shot in the Kruger Park has dropped from three to one a day. Deborah Patter, CBS News, Kruger Park, South Africa.